Why do boxers hug during a fight? The clinch explained. Have you seen it when two boxers are throwing fast, sharp punches at each other and then suddenly they start cuddling? This is called the clinch. Why do boxers clinch each other during a fight? Boxers clinch in order to control the pace of a fight. If a boxer has been hit and needs to recover, then holding on to his or her opponent until the referee breaks them up is an effective strategy. Similarly, if a boxer has been throwing a lot of punches and needs to rest, he or she can hold on to his opponent for a short duration and regain energy. Here are some video examples of when a boxer has been hit and uh, instinctively clinches. Where a boxer wraps his arms around his opponent in order to prevent him from punching. The referee will immediately separate the two fighters and they both must take one step back before commencing the fight. Is this, this was a one shot deal? Is this, we now start to see these YouTubers getting shots all over the place because, you know, what Paul did tonight? What's the legacy here, in your opinion, looking at the crystal ball? Luke. Yeah, I think it's going to end up being probably the last time you see Floyd Mayweather in a ring boxing. And I think, you know, to, to Luke's point, you heard kind of a humble re response in Floyd. Here's a video example of how the boxer can enter and rest in a clinch after throwing punches. Madonna has Mayweather on the ropes momentarily. There's a right hand and a left by Mayweather. Madonna in close point. And again, it's Floyd's failure to be first at center ring. Floyd Mayweather along the ropes, a series of right hands, then the going up of top. Mayweather having a discussion. Jab by Madonna. Ooh, short right uppercut by Mayweather. Slipped the jab into the body. How do you clinch in boxing? One, enter the clinch off of a punch. If your opponent is taller than you, then you want to going to try and get underhooks to keep them at bay. However, if they're the same height as your opponent, uh, then it would be better to go for overhooks because uh, this will ensure that you have full, full control of your opponent's arm. Step two, you must stay up close at all times because this will reduce the rotation of your opponent's punches, thereby reducing the chances of you being hurt. Step three, when you are holding your opponent, keep your head locked up against their shoulder so that you can completely close the gap and avoid being caught by any in-range punches. Step four, continue to hold on firmly so that your opponent can't step away. Step five, put your weight on your opponent so that they are forced to step back. If your opponent is stronger and you're forced to walk back, keep holding on tight and wait for the referee to execute a clean break. This way, you'll be able to avoid expending the energy. Step six, breathe deeply to regain energy and recover. Step seven, if you have overhooks, consider breaking before the referee interferes to land a quick combo. See what I mean from this video here? The golden rule of clinching is that you don't want to give him enough distance to punch. The more distance that he has- How to avoid getting clinched. Use pivots, fast footwork, and rolls to duck under and escape an incoming clinch. If your opponent manages to get one arm on you, you can simply rotate and throw several powerful shots to rock him or her. Overhooks versus underhooks. What's the difference? Overhooks, an overhook is when both of your arms are over both of their arms. An underhook is the opposite. So the underhooks are when your, you know, your hands are, or your arms are underneath uh, both of their arms. The former, which is the overhook, uh, is better as you're able to control your opponent's movement and you can release at any time to land combinations. When should a boxer clinch? A boxer should clinch when his or her opponent, number one, is on the attack and needs to be slowed down, two, has landed a punch and you need time to recover, three, is on the back foot and needs to repossess energy due to high work rate. Can you punch in the clinch? You can only punch in a clinch when a referee hasn't told you to break. If a referee is said to break multiple times and you're still holding on whilst throwing shots, then you can lose a point. If you have overhooks, an effective way to punch in the clinch is to break before the referee tells you to and throw fast, powerful combos which your opponent will not be expecting. Can you get disqualified for clinching in boxing? Technically, clinching is not allowed and you can get disqualified if you continue to hold on to your opponent after the ref has told you to break and you have already received a warning. An example of this is in the Lomachenko versus Regon Duix fight. Yes. He's, the only, he's the only one for the best part, letting his hands go. Yeah, I, I think you're right. And, and there he's been held again. I mean, I say, I think he nearly elbowed in there, Regal. This is the start it, of it. It might be the point. Yes, first point. 20, 48 second mark. Is clinching allowed at all levels? Clinching is technically not allowed. In amateur boxing, referees can be strict with clinching and some boxers may get points deducted depending on the expertise of the referee. However, in professional boxing, although clinching is still disallowed, the rule on being able to clinch is extremely lenient. 
how long can you clinch in boxing? You can clinch until the referee tells you to stop and you are certain that your opponent won't hit you when breaking. The average length of a clinch is typically 46 seconds, though it can last up to 10 seconds in later rounds due to the exhaustion from both fighters. What happens if a boxer doesn't release during the clinch? If a boxer doesn't release during the clinch, then he or she will get a warning, and if it continues, the fighter will lose a point. An example of this uh, has already been displayed earlier on in the video with the Lomachenko versus Rigon Dewex fight. He's the only one for the best part, letting his hands go. Yeah, I think you're right, and there he's been held again. I mean, if a boxer continues to do this, then he or she will be disqualified. Examples of boxers who clinch well. Number one, Floyd Mayweather. Roll the tape. Number two, Tyson Fury. Roll the tape. Number three, Andre Ward. Roll the tape. Level change. Off of the jab, Green without even knowing it has been opened up. Because he's looking to punch. That's what Ward wants. He wants Green to open up his guard so he can get underneath and on the inside of it in order to get into the clinch. You'll see here again. He How many times can you clinch in boxing? You can clinch as many times as you need to clinch. However, when the referee tells you to break, it's important not to hold on because you don't want to lose a point. Common clinching mistakes. Only controlling one of your opponent's arms. If your opponent has his or her arm free, they can still throw powerful shots with it. So you'll want to be holding both arms to maintain maximum control. Holding on too high. If you try to clinch your opponent around his or her neck, they can simply duck under your arms and throw a flurry of shots. Holding on for too long. If you continue to ignore the ref who has repeatedly told you to break, you may lose a point going in slowly. I hope you've enjoyed this video and have been able to understand a lot more about why boxers hug in the ring and how they do it. And now I'd like to turn it over to you. Have you tried clinching? Do you think it's a good strategy? Perhaps you leave, you have a question. Well, let us know by leaving a comment in the uh, comment section below. And yeah, feel free to like and subscribe and uh, share this video with your friends. Have a great day.